If you are under the age of 18, the content of this video is not for you. Please stop watching now. Hey YouTube, it's Audrey and I'm here with the second installment of Fresh Fruit Friday. This is hosted by Tina, who's Tell Him Thank You here on YouTube. I will have a list of the participants down below with the link so that you can check them all out. Make sure that you're watching all the videos, you're subscribing, liking, and commenting. Everybody will have some sort of giveaway. Um, people are still determining. I'm still determining what mine is going to be, but you definitely have to have watched all the videos you need to subscribe to all the ladies and definitely have to have a comment on all of my videos this collaboration is taking place taking place every friday in june at 10 a.m central time so without further ado i'm going to show you quickly the products i used i pulled out a lot of stuff that i'd never used and a couple old favorites so here we go I use these cute little fruit sequins, these red and silver sequins, some red seed beads. I use last month's Coco and Reno dye subscription kit. It's minis, and I use a strawberry, a pineapple, and a heart from this package. I've had these for years and never used them. It is this set of cherry dyes by Memory Box. I use the pineapple from this one. I use this old, old favorite. Boy, when I first started crafting, this was on a lot of my projects. So I used the dye out of there. I just got this dye last week. Um, my Creative Times had a clearance sale of sorts. And so I got this set and it is called Berry Special. And it has all of these fruits and some sentiments. And then it has dyes to cut out the fruit. And I just got that on Monday. So see, I'm using stuff I just got. That's unusual. Then, I'm using this month's um, Coco and Reno die set, which is called Photo, and um, this is the current subscription, so if you want to subscribe, this is what you would get started with, but um, it is a photo holder, and um, it has cameras, and it has Polaroids, and then I've had this for a little while, have not used it, it's the My Creative Time Treat Jar die. And then I used some printables from the Cutting Cafe. And I used one of the sentiments from there. And then I used this um, Spectrum Noir liquid, um, it's on the top, liquid um, sparkle. So what I did was I created some cute little frames and put, printed off some pictures from well, I'll show you one by one from that die and from the photo die and then um, I used my creative time fruit pieces and some other pieces so just made this to sit aside um, this was a couple years back when my husband and I were in Hawaii and I just thought you know I'll put some pictures out of him more pictures out of him but um this one I might take to work and put on my desk, but reminds me of the great times that we had while he was still here. So this one is we make a great pair. And I don't know if you can see the shimmer, but I got shimmer. You can see it there on the leaves and a little bit. So that's one. And then that die comes with um, an easel already built in. Then I did one of my guide babies from a few years back at Christmas time, and I used cherries, and I the sentiment, I love you cherry much, which is in that My Creative Time set. This was a picture of a drink that we had in Hawaii, and it was in this big old gigantic pineapple. 
So I put the little pineapple shades on the pineapple and I paper pieced all the fruit so that, you know, the green would be green and the leaves would be, the leaves would be leaves, et cetera, et cetera. So, and it says piñas forever, which is pineapples in um, Spanish. And then the last one that I did was one of my favorite pictures of my husband and I use strawberries and I use the sentiment, you are very special. So I made those four. <clears throat> and then I decided I wanted to try this treat box. And so here is the treat box. And it's a jar. And then I made it into a shaker. So there's seed beads in there, those little strawberry pieces, sequins, and of course it doesn't want to shake on camera, but see, you can see closer, I got the strawberry slices and just the strawberry pieces, the whole strawberries, and I thought those are just so cute, and so I added the seed beads in there to try and help things move around a bit. And it's a little tight in there. I should have used a thicker or layered the foam tape twice. But I used that die here to cut out a window also out of the jar and then silver paper. Um, as you can see, I got two stickles in here. So you could get some good treats, you know, good amount of treats in there. Now, I will say these handles can go this way or you could attach them this way. But these handles are very thin. They're, if you're going to use those, um, you are going to have to layer them several times to make them strong enough to use. But you could use ribbon because, see, there's these little tiny hooks that they hook on that's built into there. So you could just use ribbon um, of some type to make a handle. But this is what I did it this way so that it wouldn't take away from the front of the shaker. And then you turn it around. I use a sentiment from the um, printables from um, the Cutting Cafe. And it says, thank you for being very special. So that is my entry for this week for fresh fruit friday we have two more fridays to go so make sure again that you are watching commenting liking subscribing to everybody and um i will see you again next friday thanks you thank you so much for watching and you have a great and very very blessed day Bye bye